Hey guys and welcome to today's video. In this video I'd like to discuss with you is a crochet ring worth it? Now I received this ring as a gift off my mother a few years ago for Christmas and I've loved it ever since. I do like to use this. I haven't actually used it in one of my videos yet but I might start and incorporate it in. So these rings are fully adjustable. Um, all you need to do is squeeze it when it's on your finger and also you can use them any which way that feels best for you. So I have seen quite a few people wear this ring like so. So the yarn droops over the front of their finger facing them. I, however, prefer to wear it on the back like so. But that again is just personal preference. And as you may have seen in some of my videos, if I crochet too long, I get a really bad red line over my knuckle. Now this ring completely prevents it. The only thing that I would suggest is if you do buy one of these, please be patient with yourself when you use one. It takes a little bit of practice to get used to it. You've got to try wearing it different ways on the top, on the bottom, on the side, on the back, any which way that works for you. So how well does it work? Well, I'll just quickly whip up a chain and show you how I use this ring. So I get comfortable with my working yarn as usual, but instead of draping over my finger, instead I'm just going to slip it right into the hook over the back, or I can just simply slip it over the front. It depends how much tension control I would like. So for this video, I'll go with over the front. Okay, note to self, make the uh, slip knot before you try and get comfortable with the yarn because that just didn't work. So, whoops. Anyway, so I'll just make a very basic chain. And as you can see, I still have full control over the tension of the yarn, even with this ring on my finger. And now let's try it with the hook over the top. So as you can see, I've just very quickly moved the ring to show you a different position what you can use. Um, so now the hook is over the top of my finger pointing away from me. And again, it gives me complete full control over the tension. Now, if you are going to use one of these rings, I really do recommend that you practice, practice, practice with it. It does take a little bit of getting used to, but when you get there, your finger will thank you for it. It completely prevents the big sore red line that you can develop over your finger. Also, some people do get skin irritations depending what yarn they use. I've come across that with some friends of mine. Um, so I've always suggested one of these crochet rings for them so the the fibers don't aggravate their skin it's really good at preventing that they all sing the praises of these rings so i really hope that i've helped you decide if you would like one of these crochet rings also known as a tension ring and i really hope to see you in the next video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more i upload tips tricks and free patterns every week twice a week without fail so once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now